Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing amazing. Today I have a little bit of a different kind of video for you guys. Um, concert season seems to be in full swing for everybody except for me because I don't have a concert until July. But I posted a little TikTok a little while ago asking like what are the concert girlies doing because it didn't seem like there are any concerts happening and everyone's telling me about all the concerts that are happening just not in the United States. But Niall just started his tour, Taylor's tour is in full swing, Olivia Rodrigo just started her tour. So all of the pop people are doing things, but like I said, my Niall concert is not until July. So I don't have a concert until July. Jonas Brothers are now in, or are they in New Zealand right now? When I'm filming this video, I don't know where they'll be when I actually get around to posting this video. But since concert <laughs> season is in full swing after all that rambling, um, I thought I would show you all my concert essentials, which some things I think everyone should bring to a concert and others are definitely um, specific to me, things that I have to bring to every concert. But yeah, I thought it would be kind of an interesting video. Before we jump in, I'm hitting a little bit of a wall with content. I'm not exactly sure what to be filming because I don't have any concerts and a big part of my channel war was concert content and concert vlogs. So I'm definitely gonna start doing weekly vlogs. I just gotta get into it and more lifestyle things. But if you have anything specific that you guys like watching on YouTube or that you think would be interesting to watch on YouTube, I would love to give it a try. Love to, to do it. And I'm also doing a Q&A soon. My last video I talked about it. Um, so if you have any questions for me, please put those in the comments also, and I would love to answer them for you. All right, so we're just gonna jump right in to the first item that is my essential. All right, first off, the most important thing in today's time is having a clear bag for your concert. Um, this bag is amazing. It is a crossbody adjustable two compartment bag. So it has two, compartments, one in the front that is smaller and one in the back that is much bigger. And I can hold so much stuff in this bag. If I can find it on Amazon, I will definitely link it below um, because it, I've used it. I used it at all my Harry concerts in 2022, all of my concerts in 2023. And I actually forgot it for my last Jonas Brothers concert. I was on the plane and my mom was like, I don't even remember what she said, but I thought I had been forgetting something the whole entire time. And I was like, I did not bring a bag. Like what I felt empty. I was like, what am I gonna do? I forgot my bag. I just didn't bring as much stuff, which was fine because it was a very small venue and I did not bring need as much stuff, but I felt very lost without my clear bag. So it's kind of become a part of me at concerts, but this is amazing. It's still going strong after a year and a half. 30 plus concerts probably, and it's still fantastic and I love it. So if I can find this, I will link it below, but there are so many clear bags. Find one that is good for you. Um, I bought one before this and it was like more rectangular long. So it was like this way with the, with the straps up like that. I didn't like it as much. It felt a little big, felt a little baggy, felt like I could shove a lot of stuff in there, but then I was gonna have a lot of stuff at the concert, which I don't need a ton of stuff at a concert, but this was perfect. Uh, this was the second purchase and I love it. I love that there's two compartments because I don't always need everything. So this is a win and everyone needs a clear bag. So get a clear bag if you don't have one, it makes your life so much easier and you're only gonna use it for a concert. So get a clear bag. And like I said, there's so many different kinds. You can get a backpack, you can get a tote bag, you can get a bag like this, you can get a fanny pack. So many different kinds, get yourself a clear bag, but this one is amazing. So highly recommend one like this with more than one compartment. Next up is kind of personal choice and when your concert is slash where your concert is, but a fan. If you're going to an outdoor concert in the summer, you need to bring a fan. It's just, it will help you so much, I promise. So I have two fans. This is a newer purchase and I like it a lot more than this one. It is a lot easier to use. Um, it just has one button. I think it has three speeds. Um, it came with a cable and a charge. It has a charging port on it, no batteries. You charge it. it. Lasts a really long time. I feel like I, I use this at least two 
five sauce concerts without it dying and like I used it for hours because a lot of the five sauce concerts were in amphitheaters in September. So this one, very good. Once again, I will link it if I can find it. This one I bought from all my Harry concerts because it had a mister. Long story short, the mister does not work very well and you cannot like feel it unless you're like holding it really close to you. And then the fan is actually spitting really close to your face and at a concert I got it caught in my hair. And I had to rip my hair out at that concert. That was not a fun time. So this is definitely second choice. Um, I guess it's nice because you can close it and it doesn't really look like a fan. Um, and it does say fan slash humidifier, not mister, but I was like, oh, it has water straightened out of it. It'll be like a mister. And it's just a little bit bulky to hold compared to this one. This one just, I feel like is a lot more powerful and the actual fan is in a cage so you can't get it stuck. These are very soft though. So if you do get it stuck, it does just stop. This still has battery in it though. And this has not been charged since September. So that's pretty amazing. Um, once again, three speeds, has the mister, comes with a little eyedropper that you can put the water in with. Both of these are good choices. I guess it just what is what you're looking for, but I recommend this fan over this one. So I will link both of them if I can find them. You guys can make up your mind if you decide you need a fan for an upcoming concert. All right, the next three items are all the same type of idea, but a camera that is not your phone. Um, I see right now a lot of people are using like digital point and shoot cameras, um, which is great. I think that's awesome that it's kind of like the two th early 2000s again. We're using digital cameras instead of our phones to take pictures and film things. So point and shoot camera, I don't have one, but I always bring a um, film camera. Doesn't mean I always use it, but I like having it. So. You can get these at Walmart, you can get them on Amazon. They are getting ridiculously expensive though. I think it's about $30 for one. I think it used to be $30 for two and now it's $30 for one. So if you don't wanna buy these every single time you're going, you can buy a reusable film camera um, that you just buy the film for and you can take it with you. These do break pretty easily though, but probably more cost effective than continuously buying disposable cameras because the film is just disposable, but you gotta be careful that they actually work before you take them to a concert. Cause I have heard that people have issues and I also heard that they are amazing. So just be careful if you're buying one of these. Or if you are someone that brings a lot of stuff to a concert and you don't care about having a bulky bag, or maybe it's not a pit concert or X, Y, Z, whatever you're into. Polaroid camera is also a great idea because it prints right on the spot. You don't have to worry about it not working. and lots of film that you can buy. I don't know how popular these are anymore, but I feel like all the Jonas Brothers concerts, girlies had these and Joe would take the camera and take pictures. Same with the digital one. So not digital, film one. So whatever you're feeling, whatever your vibe, but I always bring a film camera with me because I think it is kind of just like fun to have a picture that is not just on your phone which I do like the idea of a point and shoot camera, which I might start bringing my filming camera to concerts because the zoom is amazing and it's very small. It's about the size of a film camera. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit bulkier, but yeah. A camera that is not your phone is definitely a necessity now at concerts because it's just more fun. Just more fun to have pictures that aren't on your phone. All right, next item is a charging block. Um, this one is amazing. It came with two. It came with a white one and a black one. I, they charge your phone like two full charges. Um, they're very slim, not heavy at all. Um, two ports to charge it from, so that's great. Uh, it comes with the charging cable, not cable for your phone to charge this. And it charges fairly quickly. I mean, plug it in overnight and you're good to go. I loan this to a lot of girls at concerts and, and so it's always good to have one if you have two even better because then you can charge your phone and someone else's and like I said very thin and this one came in a pack of two. Once again with everything I will tag it below if I can find it. I'm sure I will but if they still have it available on Amazon. These are great. I had one that I brought to all the Harry concerts with me. It literally exploded. Like I was charging using it like next to me on the couch one day and I woke up the next morning and it was like in pieces and it had exploded. I don't know how that happens, but it did. 
So <laughs> I will tag these because they're much better. Link these, not tag. Link these below because they're much better than that one. So at a concert, obviously you need money. Most places are card only now. Um, so I recommend getting a little tiny card holder instead of bringing your big wallet. Um, this is a Kate Spade one. I got it for Christmas. Um, before that, I was just using another tiny wallet that I had. This can hold one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So totally good. Um, and you can put cash in the middle. Um, I always recommend bringing ID, credit card, and cash. I sometimes bring two credit cards just in case, um, but you don't need to bring your whole wallet to a concert, especially since most places are credit only. You just have that one credit card option and your ID and you're good. Cash is just a just in case sort of situation. You never know these days what's gonna happen and having some cash on you is always a good idea. So like I said, this is Kate Spade, so many cheap ones. If I find cheap ones on Amazon, I will link those for you guys to check out but little wallet is always better than having your big wallet and you just you can put more stuff in your bag then if you have a little wallet or if you don't want to bring a bag it can go in your pocket and you won't lose it okay so these next things let me set the scene for you you're at a concert it's so hot you have long hair it's getting stuck to everyone around you and you're just so annoyed that you don't have a clip or a hair tie been there done that what I always do is keep a spare hair tie in my bag that does not come out and I usually do not need it, but right after the concert, it goes right back into the bag. So spare hair tie is always good because your hair is going to get annoying at some point, especially if it's an outdoor concert, your hair is going to get annoying. So hair tie, super helpful. Hair tie or a claw clip. And don't make it your favorite claw clip. Make it a cheap claw clip that you got on Amazon specifically for concert. This one came in a pack of like 10 that I just rotate out. They're always around my house and it's perfect because I literally just strap it to the edge of my bag and it stays there. But like I said, don't make it your favorite because if it falls off or you step on it or you break it, you're not gonna be a happy camper. So just buy a cheap one, but have a claw clip because I can't tell you the amount of concerts that I've forgotten it. And I'm like, all I wanna do is put my hair up and I can't because I just can't. So. I've learned to leave that just attached to the side of my bag and leave a hair tie in the front pocket. Just always have. Going on with the same type of theme of the hair tie is band-aids. Always have a band-aid with you. The amount of girls that like I've seen wear heels and their feet are definitely cut up by the end of the concert or they're wearing new shoes or something happens. You never know how far you need to walk. Always have band-aids. It's just good practice. You never know what's gonna happen. I've messed up my feet at just wearing shoes and like, I don't want to stand all day. I don't know, just have band-aids. I think every girl, every human has a point where their shoes have hurt them and they need a band-aid or something's happened and they need a band-aid or someone around you needs a band-aid. I just like to keep a couple band-aids on me. That's kind of a personal choice, but like I said, you never know what will happen and band-aids are always good to have. So this is a Sharpie. This is wishful thinking at a concert bringing a Sharpie, but coming from the Jonas Brothers concert, Joe signs things all the time. And you also just don't know if you're ever gonna see that celebrity after the concert, especially if you're going to smaller shows, have your own Sharpie just in case the artist doesn't have one so that they can sign something of yours, anything, anything that you have on you so that they can sign. Um, make sure it works before you bring it because that would suck if you got a Sharpie. Have you seen that video of Niall where he starts to sign the vinyl and the marker doesn't work? Rough. So always have a working Sharpie with you, just because, just in case. Wishful thinking. Manifest that you're gonna meet the artist by bringing your Sharpie. <laughs> okay, so this is a water bottle that I never used because I never ended up needing to, but I live in Arizona and for some reason, a lot of artists like to perform at the um, outdoor amphitheater in the middle of summer. So it's very hot. And a lot of artists also like to do a pit, which means that you can't leave once you sit there. So this is a water bottle that, let me open it to see if it works, that you can fold up and then becomes an actual water bottle. So if you can't leave pit, you can ask someone to fill this up for you. You can fill it up. There's always water fountains at these places. Um, or you can fill it up with your own water and then instead of being not fantastic and throwing your plastic bottle on the ground, you can just fold it back up at the end of the night and bring it home with you. So 
yeah, just having a water bottle can be nice. And this is cool because it folds and you can just stick it in your bag and you have it. Once again, haven't used it because I forgot about it, A, at the Arizona concert and B, we were allowed to bring water bottles. Um, that's another thing. Check your local venues to see if you're allowed to bring water in. Um, that's good if you're not allowed to bring water in, but if you are, bring a plastic water bottle that you can just dispose of. And check the sizes. Bring the biggest one you can so you don't have to pay for water at the venue because that sucks paying probably up to $8 for water when you could have it for free. So water bottle or disposable water bottle, whatever you want. Okay, now these next three items, last three items are things specifically to me that I enjoy having at a concert. First up is headphones. And I know that sounds horrible because like you're going to a concert, but all the Harry Styles concerts that I went to, I pretty much went to alone and girls are very nice. I met a lot of good people, but that doesn't mean that someone's gonna wanna talk to you the whole entire time. And not that I would get bored, I just would, you know, not have anyone to talk to. So I put my headphones in, listened to Harry, watched some YouTube videos. I had pit for all of it, so I was getting there three hours before the show started, four hours before the show started. And if I didn't have anyone to talk to, that's a really long four hours. So this is just a personal opinion. I brought headphones. There were some shows that I just sat in the back and I chilled and I put my headphones in until he came on. They go away as soon as the opening artist comes on, but it was just a nice thing to have for those hours and hours and hours of waiting before the concert. But yeah, don't judge me for this. I just, <laughs> It seemed necessary at the time. And also I had them because I was taking like the bus to get there. So I had headphones in and I was walking really far. So this is just something that I end up bringing because you never know. You never know what's gonna happen if you're gonna wait. Maybe you have one and your friend has one and you're listening to the same thing. I don't know. I just like having them, personal opinion. Next is my 222 necklace. I wear it to every single concert. I've pegged it as a good luck charm. That's what it is. I just feel like I have to wear it. The concerts that I didn't wear it, I felt very naked. So 222 charm is something that I wear to pretty much every single concert that I go to. It's just something I do, something I enjoy doing. And I'm sure we all have something that we bring to a concert that's kind of like our good luck charm. And if you don't, that's fun. Have something that's like a good luck charm. Yeah, I love my 222 necklace and I will wear it until it breaks. And the last item that I have for you is I always tell everyone, get a good pair of shoes to wear to concerts. I know you wanna wear heels, you're gonna be uncomfortable. I know you wanna wear those really cute shoes that you just bought and you didn't break in, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Get a good pair of shoes that you wear to every single concert. You break in, you wear them to every concert and you know they're comfortable. I recommend Doc Martin Jadens. They are the most comfortable shoe when you break them in. It does take a little while, but once you break them in, you're not gonna to wanna to take them off. And I wear these to every single show. They have like an inch and a quarter platform. I'm already 5'8", but it gives me a little bit of a lift. If you're small, it will give you a little bit of a lift. Um, and yeah, they're just comfy and good and they're big and bulky. So if someone steps on you, you're not gonna be in pain. If you step on someone else, you're not gonna know. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, they're just a good shoe and honestly, they go with everything. Um, and yeah, I just have to have those shoes. I don't remember the last concert that I didn't wear those shoes to. And I don't think there ever will be a concert that I didn't wear those shoes to. I will always wear my Doc Martin Jadens to concert. Um, yeah, they're just the most comfortable shoe in my opinion and they're the best shoe to wear to a concert. And you can't, can't tell me otherwise. Unless you're like a sneaker person, Doc Martin Jadens, perfect. Wear them, buy them. They are expensive, but I got these for my 19th birthday and I am now 24. So I've worn them for five years. I'm about to turn 25, so six years I've worn them. And they're still going so strong. The laces are breaking, but that's an easy little fix. You can buy laces anywhere. Okay, so that is the end of the video and all of my essentials for a concert. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have specific things that you have to bring to concerts or um, if there's anything that you're going to add now that you have watched this haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are going to so many concerts. Hope this reaches the right audience of all of my concert lovers. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. Yeah.
Also, tell me what concerts you're going to this year in the comments. I'd love to hear since I only have one. Um, gotta live vicariously through all the other concert peoples out there. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I am so close to a thousand subscribers and by so close, I mean like 200 away. But having this channel for a while, 200 away seems so close. So please subscribe. Get me to a thousand. That would be amazing. Um, what else? All of my links are below TikTok, Instagram, Depop, starting to post to my Depop more. Have jewelry up right now. Clothes are gonna go up. I'm probably gonna do a little going through my closet video to get some more stuff because I have way too much stuff. Way too many clothes in my closet. So that'll be a video. Um, yeah, Depop, everything is Sarah Reels. Everything is linked below. I have an ASMR channel. If you're into ASMR, go check that out. That is also linked below. And like I said, please just like and subscribe this to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Oh, it really means a lot to me. Mm, yeah, that's all I have to say. Long spiel over. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.